deviation from ideal behavior behavior of real gases in gas which obey ideal gas equation that is pv equal to nrt at all temperature and pressure are called as ideal gas and there is no such gas which obeys this ideal gas equation at all condition of temperature and pressure so we can say this concept is only theoretical or hypothetical so actual gases or real gases obey this behavior only at low pressure and high temperature okay so as the pressure increases or temperature decreases more and more deviation from this ideal gas equation can be observed ideal gas equation and other gas laws can be observed so this deviation of this real gases from ideal behavior can be understood by studying the deviation of real gases from boyle's law deviation of real gases from boyle's law so according to boyle's law if we plot a graph pv against p p on x axis and pv on y y axis ideal gas gives a straight line parallel to this pressure axis okay so different plots are obtained for different real gases that is carbon monoxide ch4 etc are real gases so we we will get different plots for different gases at 273 kelvin okay now let us uh, uh, see the graph in the case of hydrogen and helium as pv increases p increases continuously that is pressure increases continuously as pv increases so we will get a line like this but in the case of carbon monoxide and ch4 we can see that first as the pressure increases reaches a minimum value and then increases okay similarly for ch4 also first reaches this minimum value is more in the case of uh, methane okay so this will be the uh, different plots for different real gases so from this we can see that real gases do not uh, follow this ideal gas equation perfectly under all conditions okay next now let us draw p versus v graph this is the graph and it is saying that p versus v graph is in experimental data this is uh, experimental data and this is the calculated data okay and or ideal gas and real gas and we can see that these two graphs are different and they coincide at a point they coincide at a point so at high pressure what happens high pressure this is the measured volume that is experimental volume and this is the calculated volume and this experimental volume is more than experimental volume or real gas volume is more than the calculated volume or ideal gas volume okay so from this we can see that real gases shows uh, deviation from this ideal behavior okay this is the graph pv graph p versus v graph in the case of boyle's law okay next causes of deviation from ideal behavior causes of deviation from ideal behavior so cause of deviation of real gas from ideal behavior may be attributed to the two faulty assumptions of kinetic theory of gases first one forces of attraction among molecules are ne negligible okay forces of attraction between the molecules are negligible 
according to kinetic theory of gases negligible okay according to kinetic molecular theory of gases forces of attraction between molecules are negligible but this is not true because gases can be condensed gases can be condensed to liquid or solid okay liquid or solid they condense to liquid or solid okay and while they condense to liquid or solid we know that there is weak forces of attraction between the molecules weak forces of attraction between the molecules okay so attractive forces become large when molecule get crowded okay so uh, if we condense a gas into liquid or solid there will be forces of attraction and if they crowd together this forces of attraction increases so we can say that this is invalid that is force of attraction between molecules are neg negligible is invalid now second faulty assumption that is volume occupied by gas molecules are negligible as compared to the total volume of gas volume occupied by the molecules are negligible as compared to total volume of the gas this is the second postulate of kinetic molecular theory of gas this is also not correct because this gases get condensed into liquid or solid and when they condense they be the their volume become finite okay so we cannot uh, neglect the volume of molecules okay so gases can be condensed to liquid or solid okay by cooling under pressure okay so their volume decreases so what happens volume decreases and they have finite volume so we cannot neglect the volume of gases as ex volume of molecules uh, compared to total volume as discussed in the kinetic molecular theory so at high pressure or low temperature what happens total volume of the gas decreases so they have a finite volume so we cannot neglect this uh, volume of uh, molecules as compared to the total volume of gas so under ordinary conditions only the actual volume of molecules is negligible in compared to the total volume of gas okay these are the two deviations